Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Funko Pop Captain America Civil War number 125, the Captain America Vinyl Bobble Head. Recommended for ages 3 and up, it does have a choking hazard, may contain some small parts. It comes to us from the folks over at Funko. Spot also picked this up from the folks over at connectables.ca, a good online store if you're Canadian and you want to save on shipping. Actually picked up Captain America here, as well as a couple of other Civil War vinyl, Funko Pop vinyl figures. So I'm going to be looking at those in the next series of reviews. Down below at the bottom of the package, we've got a little image there of the vinyl figure of Captain America, which also carries over to the side. It's figure number 125. The back of the package shows some of the other figures available. There's Captain America, Iron Man, Falcon, War Machine, Winter Soldier, Black Panther, Agent 13, Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, Crossbones, and a very giant, Giant Man. To check out more from Funko, you can go to www.funko.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, we're getting a better look at the Captain America vinyl bobble head from Captain America Civil War. There's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. With the Captain out of packaging, let's get a better look at the figure. Well, it's not really so much a figure because, you know, with vinyl fu figures from Funko, they generally tend to be a little staction. They either have posability strictly in their head, or in the case here of Captain America, he is a vinyl bobble head. So really the only posability that a Captain will have is strictly in the bobbling of his head via the spring that's attached from the neck socket to the inside cavity of the head. He does have a shield, although the shield, sadly, is attached to his back. I think it would have been cool if the shield had been attached to his arm more so, but at least one could say that the shield is with Captain America. Paint, actually, once again, does not disappoint. It's actually quite clean, although there's just a couple of little areas where, like the silver on, his, on the wings have carried over. There's a little bit of splotch on the top there. But uh, other than that, it looks like it's relatively clean. Uh, there's also just a little bit of blue underneath his mask. Uh, I like that the mask is a nice shiny blue as opposed to a matte blue. It does look a little jarring versus the rest of the body because the body is more of a matte color. Speaking of coloring, um, I love the new Captain America Civil War costume because everything is kind of a little more muted. The star and the stripes, or the equivalent of the stripes in his torso, seem to be a little bit darker, almost a more of a light gray as opposed to a white. You may or may not be able to see it, but he actually even has an A on his shoulder there as well. I, again, quite like this costume. It's probably one of my favorite. You know what? I might even say it's my favorite Captain America costume right now. I mean, the, the costume is not that much different than Avengers Age of Ultron, but it looks like it's just a little bit darker in color. Because he is also a vinyl pop, well, pop vinyl figure, he also has the black eyes, which is a consistent trend with a lot of the vinyl figure releases. Probably not the easiest to see. He does have hair, but I guess because his hair is blonde, uh, it comes across more like shadowing than it does hair. And he's got the little chin strap, little tiny nose, no mouth to speak of at all. Uh, when again it comes to posability, he has none. Like his whole torso, lower torso, is strictly staction. You can't do anything with it. But uh, the shield, nice touch. Wish it was on the side, but at least you get a shield with Captain America here. Uh, certainly, Spots again picked up a couple of these uh, with Civil War just right around the corner. I'm looking forward to actually getting these guys out on the shelf. I picked up uh, Iron Man, I picked up uh, Black Panther, and I, and I also picked up Winter Soldier. So Spot's going to have reviews of those coming up very, very soon if you want to stay tuned for those. Again, if you guys are interested in picking these up for yourself, you can head over to connectables.ca. A good place certainly for Canadian buyers like myself. You can save a little bit on shipping and uh, you know great customer service and stuff over there. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the brand new Captain America Civil War, the vinyl pop vinyl figure, well, it's a vinyl bobble head. Captain, uh, well, hopefully agrees. We're having a look today at the vinyl bobble head of Captain America. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. See you next time.